Okay, today we're going to continue on with our study of projectiles. I want to remind you of the major projectile concept, which is independence of components, which says that the horizontal motion and the vertical motion can be treated separately. In this example, you can see the bombs staying right underneath the airplane. So the fact that the bombs are falling vertically does not affect their forward horizontal speed. I'd like to show you an example problem of how we're going to put this into practice for an object that starts and ends on the ground. So Ashley hit this field hockey ball as hard as she could, and we videotaped it for the first few frames of its motion. When we brought it into Logger Pro, we saw that it was moving forward at 14.2 meters per second. It was moving upward, vertically, at 2.9 meters per second. Okay, so Ashley hits the ball with a speed horizontally of 14.2, a vertical speed of 2.9. We take those numbers and move them into our chart. So the 14.2 is the horizontal speed when it leaves her stick. The 2.9 is the vertical speed when it leaves her stick. Realize that the ball is going to go up and land back at the same height that it started. So your, your delta y will be 0. It has no change in height from end point to start point. The final speed should be the same as the initial speed just in the opposite direction, and that's any time it returns to its original height, it returns to its original speed. Since we're on the planet Earth, we use our acceleration of negative 9.8. At this point, you should be able to finish. Use your equations of motion to get time, move the time to this side, use velocity equals distance over time to find out how far Ashley hit the ball. Okay, you also need to find the total speed of the ball, you do that by completing your triangle. The horizontal and the vertical combine together using Pythagorean theorem. And when you do that, you get an answer of somewhere around 14.4 meters per second. You also need to find the angle that she hits the ball. And you can do that using tangent. Tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So just do second tangent of the quantity 2.9 divided by 14.2. You should be able to solve any problem where the ball starts and ends at the same height with the same process. Zero for your delta y, initial speed and final speed will be equal.